and hello again everyone and this is Dennis this is the Paleo Gamer and we are once again back in Satisfactory now a lot has been happening while we've been gone um, I had some problems with my last few recordings and streams so let's just um, hop into the system and I can show you what's happened um, yes we're at the space elevator and as you can see we've done some work clank Okay. Uh, the main problem is I started recording this and um, we completed phase two. I did some MAM unlocks, that sort of thing. Ran around and set up a few new machines and then when it ended it turned out that my entire stream had failed 15 seconds into the recording. So I did it a second time and it did record the whole audio but the video cuts out. 15 seconds into the recording. So I'm trying a completely new recording setup now. Uh, we're gonna see how this works. Um, this is not what I've used for the past years. So we'll see what happens. In the meantime, let me show you what happened while I was going. I did go back to the oldest autosave I had, but I did lose about 10 or 15 minutes of progress. Unfortunately, that was things like space elevator anyway um, the last thing we needed for the space elevator we needed versatile frameworks um, um, smart plating versatile frameworks and um, automated wiring what I did we were making the smart plating way back at my factory way over there if you remember so what I did was I set up two factories here or two assemblers here when making versatile frameworks and keep doing that because we still need those and one on the other side and why do I have a bunch of versatile frameworks on me remember I've had a lot of backtracking I'm going to deliver those here have some versatile frameworks all right over here is where I've set up the automated wiring now um yeah, he's done at this point. Um, now, what I had done over here, when we completed phase two, um, it also unlocked tiers four and five, or five and six, whichever two tiers were on. Now, so I decided to start with tier five and oil processing, because oil processing will let us create plastic and rubber. And basically, everything we need after this is going to need either plastic or rubber to unlock. So, and certainly when we get up here to six. Uh, only thing I can do without it is the jetpack, but I'd rather get the oil process up, up and running first. Now, I need a few more things than I have. I'm going to need some more encased industrial beams, and I need some more copper sheets. That's okay. I'm producing both of those. So, this is our milestone for right now. Um, I also need 50 motors. Now, motors I can build. Motors are just... Um, motors take two rotors and two stators. But I'd have to click 12 times, and I don't want to sit here and make you watch me build 50 motors. Um, I think I actually have some motors hiding over here. I put a little box over here to... Yeah, there they are. And some more rotors. Okay, great. There's the leftover automated wiring that I produced that I didn't need. I also have this guy, which is a fused modular frame. I'll show you more about that in a little bit. For now, I'm going to need to go get some stators. Well, what I'm going to do to start with, since we're going to need those motors, I'm going to get this guy started, and I'm going to have him make motors for me. You need rotors. You need stators. There we go. And um, I'll need to get some more, but I know where more are. I can't remember if I had shown you this little stream over here, or this little walkway over here. And it's hard to tell right now, but this guy kind of hugs the coast, or hugs the sideline for a while hugs the cliff face. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, 
Uh, there is, you can't see it because it's dark, there is a crashed landing pod up to my left. I did take that hard drive. It did not give me a useful recipe. It gave me like an alternate way to make copper plates or something. And um, I found another crashed hard drive, which I'm going to run past in a minute. And it also gave me not much useful. I can show you what those are in a minute. Uh, but this thing up here, once I run past all the choking clout and cough. Yeah. I need to take those guys out. Uh, right here, I start down as the landscape starts down. There is a pure copper node. And there's another pure copper node right there. Over here is a little flat area. There are four pure iron nodes over there. There's a limestone node up there. I honestly can't remember whether it's pure or normal. And down here we have, there's a, this used to be where two quartz nodes were. I used to have two quartz nodes here prior to 1.0. They were pure quartz nodes. They decided it made this area too easy. There is an iron node over there. I honestly don't know what its purity is. And part of me is upset that these two places, these two things are literally three squares off from each other, but I'm not about to rebuild all of that crap in both places just to get this straightened out. Um, I did get my steel operations fully up and running over here. There are four, there's a limestone node here. This is a normal node producing with a Mark II, so it's producing 120 limestone a minute. I am feeding these into four constructors. Each constructor is underclocked by 33%, so that they are each taking 10 concrete, taking in 30 limestone and putting out 10 concrete. So they are exactly matching the output from that, our friend back there. And it is sending out 40 concrete a minute. Now up there, that is a copper node. It is, what did I just do? It is a pure copper node, not, excuse me, a normal copper node. But I am just feeding the 120 out into four smelters, which are then being used to run four constructors, each of which are making wire. And that's making a whole lot wire than I need, but for right now, I'm just living with it. Oh, I did, um, I've got a few, like, um, conveyor ceiling mount there. I did, I had been holding off on all my animal protein, hoping to get to, um, once you get SAM, strange eating matter research, and summer sleuths research, you have a way that you can double the output of any factory, anything that produces two instead of just one. I had hoped to hold off using the, um, I'd hope to hold that off until the, um, I'd hope to hold that off until I had gotten summer sloops, but I have not found any Sam ore anywhere. And I have looked in places where it used to exist in prior to 1.0, and there's just none there. I'm going to have to wait till I find some Sam ore, so I decided to go on without it. What we're doing here is we're bringing in all the iron ore and coal. We're now producing 240 units of each per minute. We're running it into this overclocked foundry. It's overclocked by 33%, so it is exactly matching our input and giving us 60 ingots on output. The 60 ingots on output get fed into this, which are turned into 15 steel beams. And right here, I have a machine that is taking those 15 steel beams and 30 concrete. He is underclocked by 16% and producing to match the steel beam output. And he is producing five encased industrial beams per minute. He is slightly underclocked on concrete because he's only using 30 instead of 40, but then I would have to figure out a way to get more steel beams in here, and that was just more than I wanted to deal with because everything else is balanced. But here we are producing encased industrial beams. I'm going to need a hundred of those. Well, that should go ahead and give me enough to get a hundred. And let's get 200 more just for safety's sake. 
Over here, I'm producing steel beams. Um, I'm gonna get my total, sell the total of three stacks of those. That looks good. Um, I have a total of three constructors making steel beams. 15 of them are going over there, 30 of them are going in here every minute. Over here, I have one foundry producing 60 ingots again. Each of those go order these constructors, which take 30 ingots and turn them into 20 pipes. Even though I'm only producing 20 pipes a minute and 30 beams a minute, I'm still producing pipes faster than beams somehow. But I mean, this is already full. Meanwhile, over here, the other 20 beams and all the that copper wire I was making over there, I'm using. This is also overclocked 32%, so it exactly matches my steel pipe input. Uh, just shy of 60 wire, which is like half of what I'm producing. But that's producing almost seven staters a minute. So we're getting a good selection of staters here. I'm going to get a couple of those because I'm going to need them soon. The last thing I need to get is rotors, so we can make more motors. And I need to get steel, or excuse me, copper plate. So since I'm all the way over here, I'm just going to run around the back way to get back to my uh, main factory area. I do want to put, um, at some point I'm going to put a hyper tube or something just to get back and forth faster. Or maybe just put a, um, drop an explore, a few explorers around and just drive them back and forth. I also unlocked some MAM stuff um, during the Lost um, session. And we can look at that in a little bit. about my big suspended walkway is when you run it at night you can see power slugs glowing everywhere. There are power slugs all over the place but they're all up on the top of things like those ribs or whatever they are there. So it's going to take a while to get to them. That's why I'm going to be researching the jetpack next. The jetpack will run on biomass or biofuel. Yeah, you see there's a um, power slug way up there. But I'll get all these guys later. And every time I run past here, I hear that little noise, and I can't tell, oh, it's you guys up there. And there's a summer, a um, Mercer Sphere up there. Hmm. Do I want to do anything about that? Not right now. Okay, well, I know what that sound is. This is a bull, one of those um, boars snorting. It's just, I don't like fighting boars. It just... <laughs> just difficult. Oh, one of my other achievements here is I put some four power batteries up here. I also have um, six of my biobass murders still on standby. Um, so right now we're producing 1200 megawatts. I'm spending about 900. So I've got about 250 to 300 that I can use. And that's if everything kicks on. Um, because of the six biomass burners on standby, I can produce another 180 megawatts for a while. And each of these guys are holding 100 megawatt hours. So I can produce an extra 400 megawatts. I can run for another, use another 400 megawatts for an hour before I um, just lose power completely. So right now we're okay. I still have not reconfigured this area. 
Uh, I think we got enough cables for right now. What am I over here for? Oh yeah, copper plates. Is that you? Yeah, that's you. Okay. I need, there's the hundred I need. I'm gonna get about another 200, 400 for myself. Okay, that should be enough for right now. I do want to redo this area still over here. We're still doing all of these on Mark 1 miners, and there's at least two engineering, or not engineering, iron nodes we haven't used yet. Here's something fun I discovered about the parachute, by the way. You can use it to glide uphill. I don't know exactly how that works. Maybe somebody who actually knows how to parachute will tell me, but it's just the... Um... Okay, finally hit a flat spot and it made me stop, but... Yeah, if you hit a slope just right, you'll glide up it. Okay, and where's my is the lizard doggo around here? Okay, I befriended the lizard doggo. He used to be up here. He's around somewhere. Um, you can befriend lizard doggos by just dropping a bunch of pale berries in front of them. They'll come over and eat the pale berries, and they'll decide that you're their friend now. Not mean to be sending the bad the those into the space elevator. Because the space elevator doesn't want those. Oh, we'll figure that out. Okay. So now I've got 47 motors. I need some more stators. Okay. So let me just put a bunch of st another hundred stators into here. And I'll do a similar thing over here. Right over there and forgot to get any more rotors. Okay, fine. But that'll let me keep building motors. Let me go clean up my little mess in here. That may give me enough motors to proceed. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Let's take this back, thank you. Um I did put the walls up. Like I said, I generated a bunch of tickets by making all my converting all my biomass, and um, used that to make a bunch of. And we got over 50 motors now. Okay. And used that to um, buy walls and stuff so I could start decorating this area. Um, let's go over here. Have some motors. Have some. Beams, have some plates, there we go. Have fun. Milestone reached. Crude oil can now be extracted and refined to produce various industrially beneficial parts. The byproducts of these processes will require careful management, but a capable pioneer such as yourself surely understands that. To improve efficiency, pipelines can now be optimized with valves to limit and balance their throughput. These were initially left out because Fixit did not want to overwhelm pioneers with complex pipeline management, but they have since been re-added after my impassioned defense of your capabilities. Yeah, thanks, Ada. Okay. Um, everything here requires either rubber or plastic moving forward. Or both. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and research the jetpack next, just because um, A, it gets more slots, and B, it's going to take a while to start generating those other two things. So this is going to be our next thing. But I need all of... Oh, I can't put it back because the pod's not back. But I'm going to need a lot more of everything. So I'm going to have to go over there and get some more stuff. Meanwhile, let me go over here and see how framework factory is doing. Uh, you're out of steel beams. Did I not? Oh yeah, we were getting those over here. Um, dang, I have to go get some more anyway, so may as well wait right now. Okay. 
I didn't have this guy set up to take modular frames because he only needs one for every versatile framework. Or he needs half of one to make a versatile framework. One modular frame makes two versatile frameworks. Now, to be fair, I'm going to have to make 2,500 of them. So I need 1,250 modular frames. But I can move those relatively easy. Let's go get the rest of the stuff I'm going to need over here. of cable. And I need a bunch of rotors so I can set up my motor factory. Because we're going to need those motors when I think I'm going to need them for the advanced motors over there that we're going to need for the um, space elevator. So let's just go get all this stuff. Okay, I'm going to need a thousand is five stacks. I've already got three stacks, so let's just get five more. And there we go. Now we're fully full. Okay. Um, what do I need to do next? We have rotors um, and metal plates. I'm going to need five full met stacks of metal. No, I'm need. Yeah, five full stacks of metal plates. Should I keep those just because they're that's what foundations are made from? And I don't have enough space to get all of them. That is going to be interesting. Hmm. That's enough to get me over that hurdle. Now let me go over here to where the rotors are, the thing I forgot got to get last time. Just get a couple of those. Okay. And now I'm maxed out. I can't carry anything more. And I need to come back and get more stuff. So, yeah, I guess I'm going to set up some assembly lines, whatever, sooner rather than later. uphill never gets old. This thing was just looking unsupported. So I've started, it's still a little dark, I've started building supports down here when I get time. Eventually that's going to go all the way to the ground. I'm going to build like two more layers underneath this with storage and that sort of thing in it. So we'll be able to get that started. I also want to start over here. These are my quartz nodes. Now they're only, they're relatively cheap bad quartz nodes, they're all, you know, impure, but here, let's set up to get down there, because that's probably going to be what I need to do next. I'm waiting for the 
to return, and it's right up there, so it's not like I'm wasting a lot of time here. Let's see here. Put you there. Put you there. Well, eight or nine out. Okay. So I'm going to need three or four spaces on each side. This will be my central pathway. Let's see. center, which is fine, because it's right and it looks like it's lined up pretty close on our guy over there as well. So, let's give you some a ramp down. don't quite line up like they should vertically, but what can I say? Okay. So let's put a merger here. And you're going to be producing 60 a minute, even with a Mark II minor. That's not what I meant to do. It's certainly not what I meant to do. Now, here's where some math gets a little interesting. Um, that's our oil stuff we're going to be doing next. Okay, the freighter just came back, so let me go ahead and finish this and go up there. What we have here is I'm going to build four constructors. Because between... And my dog is seeing something outside that she doesn't like. Um... Now, we're going to put the guys on this side making quartz crystals. They take 37.5 per minute. Okay. And we're going to make these guys use silica. They take 22.5 per minute. Those add up to 60. So, between these guys, we are now properly using all of our resources. So let's throw some splitters in. There. There. You're going to have 120 coming out because 2 times 60. But each of you guys are going to be consuming 20 or 30. Guys, we're going to merge your outputs. So, now you 
guys are actually going to be producing like 75 per minute. So you're going to be producing a total of more than one belt can handle. But all I'm going to do is I want to grab a storage container and plop it down here. same thing on the other side. more than 60, you're only producing 45 a minute, so I don't need to double you. So I'll put my storage container here. And then just let you feel. Now all I do is just get power to you people. Uh, so let's, let's see, can I snag from way up there? seconds for the magic to happen, just to make sure everything is good and running here. There we go. The first crystals have made it. They're going into their appropriate machines. This side. Again, we have quartz crystals coming out this side. Great. We now have a quartz factory set up and running. Now let's head back up here. yet, but I have enough of this. Okay. So at the moment, I just have to wait for eight more motors to get built. And I'm completely out of... I've still got cable, but I'm almost completely out of sheets. 
So let's go grab some more of those while we're waiting. And get some more rotors while I'm here. Because I have a feeling we're going to be needing a lot of motors. What I may use the area below the elevator for is to just run some conveyors and just have everything that's producing here get stuck into storage, into a centralized storage container down there. And then, since I'm hanging out over that valley, I'll be able to branch out and start um, running rail lines out from there once I get that unlocked. But that's very close now. In fact, that's going to probably be the next unlock after this. I need a total of, I like carrying around at least five stacks of plates just because Like I said, these are what we make foundations out of. I could make them out of pure concrete, but actually I find the only other, beyond some basic gold materials, the only other thing the iron plates are really used for is Mark 1 conveyors. So, are you rotors? Yeah, let's get like five more of you for now. Okay. And let's grab some modular frames, because I know I'm using them back there too. Let's do like five of you. Alright. Let's go back and see how our motor production is doing. It's actually faster than running over there. Again, I can get the... Oh! You didn't let me glide. I'm, I'm, I'm upset. Oh, well. You're looking to see if my friend Lizard Doggo has come back. Because the Lizard Doggo brings you things. build out this way because that's going to be used for something else, but I can um, just stack another storage on top of you. Okay, why are you not liking that? Oh, you're... There we go. You were wanting to be in straight mode. Go up here and put a bunch of modular frames in here, so you'll just keep reducing those for a while. you still got, well, you don't have many steel beams, but yeah, y'all are just going to keep doing that for a while. Great. Go see how my motors are coming along, and if I have eight more. Yeah, we had 21. Okay, great. some extra rotors here just in case. I'll keep a stack for myself. Okay. And that's it for now. So let's go over here and see what we got. Milestone reached. Fixit has granted you the power of flight, provided you have a jetpack and the appropriate fuels. The jetpack refuels automatically while you are standing on a surface, and different fuel types will affect the jetpack's functionality. With this increased versatility, you will no doubt achieve efficiency levels previously unheard of. And Ada proves she knows how to make a pot. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is petroleum power, because... A, it lets me get fuel generators, and B, it lets me scan for catarium of all things. I'm not sure what that has to do with petroleum power, but there we are. Um, that will come in useful later, um, and that will also come in useful later. I don't use trucks that much, but 
we can use the conveyor belts. So I'm going to go for petroleum power next, which means, oh look, I need another 100 motors. I also need a bunch of rubber and plastic, which we're not making yet, and a more encased industrial beams. Well, I know where to get those. In the meantime, why do I need to make a jetpack? I can make a jetpack right now. Okay, let's build a jetpack. And there we are, we have a jetpack. Place our parachute with that. It's um, useful to keep the parachute around because if you're really high up and your jetpack runs out, if you're fast enough, you can switch to the jetpack. Parachute and survive, but... See? Uh, but I can't get high enough. I'm to hurt myself right now. But... we Okay. Yeah. Solid biofuel's not very useful. Um, for jetpacks. But anyway, um... The other, on the other hand, we do have good news. We can start looking for oil reserves. So, some directly north of us, and some over that way. Okay, so some's almost due north of us, which is that way. Well, I'm going to go get some more stators and rotors. Or more stators, anyway, and steel beams and all that kind of stuff, because I'll be needing those. And then we're going to head north and get some oil. In the meantime, I am Dennis. I am the Paleo Gamer. And I will see all of you next time.